<laughs> it's gonna be hard to make a video today. And it's been raining like this since midnight. Come here, buddy. Come get it. Ding, 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 ding. Come on, don't be a chicken. Oh, you are a chicken. Oh, he's going to take two. He'll take three. Come on. He'll put two in his mouth and one in his teeth. You can't take as many. Here, Hugh. Good morning, guys. Kind of a gray, rainy fall morning. Um, yesterday, I hurt my arm in the bush. So I'm not going to do too much today. Gage and I are going to jump on the Ciron, go directly from here. And we're just going to hit some of the easy riding trails. I'm not doing any jumps or anything. Got to go easy because of the arm. And we're just going to bring the cameras. And we're going to look for fall color, wildlife. And I guess this uh, video can go under the, you know, bushwalking adventures, even though we're going to be on the Suron. I make no apologies. My arm hurt a lot last night. I iced it for about three hours. I got uh, lots of Advil in the system right now. I just really don't want to sit around. So let's go do this. And I've got a whole bag full of camera gear, so I hope it doesn't rain too hard. We're going to go about 20 to 25 kilometers, so we're just going to go slow so Gage gets lots of rest. Let's do it. Bit of fall color starting right here in the yard. All right, first stop down at the beaver pond, and way back in there is my house. So I was hoping maybe we'd see signs of that moose down here, but I've been here... 10 minutes, I haven't seen anything moving. Not a whole lot of color yet either, I'm surprised. We're the end of September, and the leaves are just starting to turn now. It's been a very warm year. I just noticed a couple of these down right on the side of the trail here. I mean, I know it's got to be natural, but this one here and that one there are full trees. So, you know, if it's a windstorm, why is the wind not knocking down? This little stump that's dead. Then there's another stump right there that's dead. You know, I, I don't know. And then another one right there that's dead. It only goes to there. Selective wind forces, I don't know. Wow, look at all the mushrooms. It is that time of year. Fantastic. There's got to be a photo here somewhere. Oh, geese are heading south. Hello, little fella. I didn't bring any seeds. I almost did it again. I pulled the phone out and I took all kinds of pictures of the mushrooms here. And then I realized I've got, you know, very expensive camera gear, two cameras, multiple lenses in the bag. I wasn't even going to take them out, and I thought I'd better. So here's a little comparison, phone versus expensive gear. You guys tell me, you know, do I even need to bother carrying the expensive gear anymore? Is the phone good enough for YouTube?
The phone is not good enough for the photographer in me. I know that. I already know the answer to that. I just got a couple of great photos right here. Looking up this maple. Good stuff. This phone does a terrible job of color. So right there, it looks the way it should. But when you go to take a photograph, that red turns very pinky. Samsung, you suck. Third helicopter of the morning coming over. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Every video I've made in the last two weeks. Can you hear it? And one just went by three minutes ago. I don't know what's going on. I see a photo. Do you guys see it? It's right there. I forgot I had a sore wrist um, and I just did a catwalk and it survived so it, it must not be that bad. Nice little bit of color out there but you can't reach it with the phone so I'll have to get another camera out. You ever pass chores on to your kids? Now I have great kids, but about three months ago, I told them that once a week they each had to vacuum. One upstairs, one downstairs, and vice versa, switch. Which is great, they've been doing it. What they haven't been doing is, in our garage, we have a room that the central vac is located. Nobody has emptied the central vac, and it's been like three months. So today, I just out of the blue remembered, hey, I better check that, and apparently Gage, has shed a poodle. <laughs> I can't believe how heavy this is. It's all dog hair. That is all gauge hair. Maybe a few Gary back hairs. I don't know. Like this thing weighs 12 pounds of gauge hair right there. He has shed a poodle in three months in my house. So that's just a friendly reminder guys. Even though you pass the job on to your kids, don't forget to check their work.